Okay, Bree, thank you. Good morning. We have some very hot temperatures still for the low desert, but the high desert now out of that excessive heat warning for now. We are going to see plenty more hot temperatures in the coming weeks and months, but uh, down into Palm Springs, Coachella, we still have some dangerous heat there through tonight, still getting up to about 113 degrees. So the risk of, the risk of heat related illnesses still going to be pretty high for these areas. I know we're used to seeing the hot temperatures down there, but make sure you stay hydrated. Try to stay out of the heat uh, as much as you can. Temperatures are very mild as you're stepping out at 66 in Ontario, 65 in Riverside, and then close to 70 in Long Beach. Still a couple spots though, cool to start. 58 in Ojai, but for the most part, we're seeing a lot of 60s out there. You're not really feeling that chill in the air as you are stepping out the door, but we do have some nice 70s up into Victorville, so very mild start there. There is a low that's passing through the Pacific Northwest. It's going to continue to move on out of here and move through Idaho, move through Montana as we get into the rest of today. We're not expecting too many changes. As a result, we have this trough extending through the West. Might cool us off by about a degree or two compared to yesterday. We're not expecting too many changes though and then as we head into your friday same goes nothing major changing and we head into the weekend we start to head into your saturday your sunday this ridge of high pressure really begins to strengthen and we're all going to start to see some much warmer temperatures and some heat getting into next week as well so for los angeles an orange day and then sunday those temperatures really bump up 87 degrees and then we stay in the mid 80s all the way through midweek next week now if you as well it's going to be a really nice weekend to beat the heat there. 78 degrees on your Sunday, so Sunday's even going to be warm at the coast. And then we get into next week, and we cool it off slow. We'll probably see a little more wind compared to others. It's going to be the I-5 corridor, one of those wind-prone areas. And then we get into next week, and we're really going to see those temperatures to 115 the beginning of next week. Mark, I'll send it back to you. Okay, yeah, 115 is getting <laughs> pretty yeah, toasty. Getting toasty. Thanks, Brianna. New and we just have the right shoulder that's blocked right at Florence Avenue. And so we do have some traffic there uh, due to that car that caught fire north. We'll have another check in just a little bit. Uh, Rachel, I'll send it back to you.